What's up guys? Been a while since I've actually made just a regular video. Um, but we're going to start getting back into that. I just wanted to uh, come on here. I'm driving north currently at the moment on uh, Route 93 headed into New Hampshire. And I uh, had a little bit of free time. So so let's chat a little bit. Let's, uh, let's talk some Boston sports. Uh, in particular, the Patriots. And uh, the Tom Brady situation, or Brady Brady Watch, as they're calling it here in the uh, Boston area, it's a uh, it's an interesting topic. It's it's definitely been uh, definitely been heavily covered here in in New England. Um, it would be very weird to see Brady in in another uniform. Uh, that's that's a fact. It uh you know playing playing. 18, I mean, excuse me, 19 seasons, um, you know, for one team is, is, uh, is, is a, a hell of an accomplishment. And you just, you just don't, uh, you don't really see that in the, in the, in, uh, never mind the NFL, but just any sports today. It's, that's a, that's, that's an accomplishment to spend that much time with one team and, and, uh, Accomplish what Brady has accomplished in his time here. The six Super Bowl wins. It's it's uh, it's it's definitely a a once in a in a generational type um, player. And uh, to see him in a different uniform would be would be very very weird. Uh, there there is a possibility that he could leave. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to to be too much of a of a homer and say you know. And you know, discount all the all the reports of, of teams out there that are willing to pay him because I I would almost guarantee that there's there's at least some truth to to those rumors that there are teams out there that are probably trying to set themselves up to to make Brady a, a competitive offer and, and possibly you know pull him out of New England. Uh, I said this before on on a, a live stream that we had that it it's going to take an offer for him to leave is going to have to be, uh, extremely, uh, large. I would, I mean, if I had to put a number on it, I would probably say, uh, three years at a hundred probably with, with maybe 70 to 75 guaranteed. I bet that that type of an offer would definitely make Brady, uh, think twice the the um, I've kind of narrowed it down to three teams. Once again, we've talked about this on a previous live stream, but uh, we've definitely narrowed it down to three: uh, the Las Vegas Raiders, and the Raiders are simply simply in the mix because their owner is crazy enough to offer Brady that amount of money. They they just built a new stadium, and they're going to be uh, uh, they're going to be willing and want to. Uh, to fill that stadium, obviously you don't want to, you know, build a brand new stadium and have it not create any revenue or buzz around the team. So a move like bringing Brady to the Raiders would would uh, for sure create buzz and definitely put put people in the stadium and, and put them, you know, put butts in seats. So that's that's one of the main reasons why they are uh, why you know they're in the mix. The Chargers simply in the mix because they, they they won the area they're in. They're in LA. Um, they're they're in LA, so they're in a warmer climate. And uh, I think for years now, Giselle has wanted out of the cold uh, and and to get kind of in a nicer environment and and be able to to be in a big market city like LA and to keep, to uh, to build her brand. Also, Brady. Um, after his contract expires, LA would set him up well to to build up the TV uh, TB12 uh, brand. So uh, the Chargers are in the mix there. I do think there are other factors. I think uh, if he went to the Chargers, he would want to go. Um, he would want to go with Josh McDaniels. I've said that also on a previous live stream that uh, if Brady does go to the Chargers, I think McDaniels goes with him. And they uh, and the Chargers fire their head coach, but that so that's the scenario for LA. And uh, 
Um, sorry, guys, lost my train of thought for a second. So LA, the Raiders, and then the last and final team uh, outside of re-signing with the Patriots would be the Tennessee Titans. And uh, obviously, Mike Vrabel being the head coach there, he has you know an extremely good rapport with him. Uh, they've won Super Bowls together, so that's that's uh, uh, a big you know a big upside for them. They the, the Titans are set up in a in kind of a win now mode. They have a team that's ready to go and uh, basically ready ready to compete for you know an AFC title again. They were right there this year. Um, they just couldn't keep up in the second half with the with the Chiefs, but with I think with Brady at the helm and um, working with you know working with the offense that uh, working with the offensive weapons that he has in Tennessee, I think that that could be that could be a different story. Uh, you know the ending of that Charger game if Brady was on that team could uh, the end of the excuse me the end of that that uh, Titan game. And uh, Titan and Chiefs game would be would, could possibly have been a different uh, a different story there. So I mean, uh, and then you know, last but not least, you have the Patriots and, and you know their offer that they're that you know they off I, I, the reports say that they offered him you know two years at thirty mil, and he and he turned it down. <laughs> But uh, the willingness, you know, the willingness that they would have to to go above thirty, I don't, you know, I, I don't know how how willing they would they would actually be to go above that thirty million dollar mark. I with uh, Kraft's comments, you know, basically stating that Brady, you know, they were going to let Brady test free agency. I don't that that kind of tells me that they're they're they would they would kind of balk at at you know going over that thirty million dollar mark. Um, I think this all this comes down to really to really two things. It does Brady have enough guts and enough balls to actually leave New England and uh, try and try and strike out or or strike out or strike it rich with another team? You know, win a Super Bowl with another team? Does he have the the guts and the balls to do that? I I, I don't I don't I don't really know. I, I don't have the answer to that question. Um, we're gonna have to just kind of wait and find out, and then. Uh, are the the other half of that would be are the Patriots willing to let you know the greatest quarterback to ever play uh, walk out the door? Is Bob Kraft willing to to kind of swallow that that pride and that relationship that he has with Brady and 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 let him walk out the door? Because there's a there's going to be a large a, you know a large portion of Pat's nation that. That that would be that you know that would be pretty pretty upset with that call. Um, there's a lot of people that that probably wouldn't like that. I, I could almost guarantee guarantee that that there would there would be a large part of Patriots Nation that that would not be very happy with the decision to let Brady walk and the decision to not pay Tom. It um it, it uh it, it could definitely create a uh, a rift in in Patriot Nation there. That's, that's a big, that's probably going to be the big, one of the biggest free agents to ever sign some, somewhere else ever, if it does happen. But those are, uh, you know, those are my thoughts. I, me personally, I do think that he's going to re-sign with the Pats. I do think that they're, they're, um, that the Patriots will get him back. I don't see him leaving. Uh, they're, they'll they'll figure some sort of some sort of deal out where they don't have to pay him much or they'll or they they'll promise him you know that they're gonna they're gonna get him some weapons and there'll, there'll be something in 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 a, in writing saying that that they'll they'll you know they'll get him weapons or something like that that's the only way that I think he stays is if if the Patriots show him that they're gonna they're going to actually spend a little bit of money and they're going to surround him with some talent. If they don't put Brady, if they don't put t some talent around Brady and get get him some some real weapons to work with, I it, it could happen, guys. The the unthinkable could happen and Brady could be could be gone. I just I think this is all of this the news articles and all the the little the little rumors and rumblings that you hear uh, coming out uh I think it's just 
a big uh, game of chicken from both sides, from Team Belichick and Team Brady, and uh, they're they're just trying to to um, you know poke and prod at each other and and see who has who really does have the uh, the most leverage in this argument. But once again, I don't I don't see him leaving. Those are uh, those are my thoughts on Brady. I hope you all have a uh, a good weekend, guys. I will see you back Sunday night, and y'all have a good one. Take it easy, Butchers Block and Patriots Talk. Your boy Bobby, and I'm out of here, guys. Peace.